Right now, the Senate, for the better part of the day, convened for the plenary sittings for the impeachment motion, hearing, and determination of the proposed removal from office by impeachment of Dr. Robert Monda. The Kisi deputy governor was impeached by the county assembly on the grounds of abuse of office, gross misconduct, and crime under national law and gross violation of the institution or rather constitution or any other law as a result of requesting and receiving bribes, nepotism, tribalism, and compromising the integrity of the recruitment institution. Kisi assembly represented uh, five witnesses and their grilling is currently underway in the Senate. Take a look. So my question is, have you never called the deputy governor past a certain hour in reference to any other issue other than this? Thank you, Madam Speaker. We have never spoken with the, His Excellency, the deputy governor, any time uh, beyond five. The few times that we have spoken with His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, is during official hours and often morning hours. This would have been a different scenario if I would have called the Deputy Governor at night. Senator Osotsi, don't repeat the questions, please. Uh, Madam Lucy. Uh, this is the third time you are appearing before the Senate. You have appeared before the CPIC committee where I chair as a managing director of uh, Goosey Water. And uh, during that, those occasions, the committee has given you a number of directives. One is uh, matters bordering on the fight against corruption. Two is matter bordering on the skill set and the competitive recruitment of staff in your company. Are your actions in this particular case motivated by the recommendations of the committee to you? Madam Speaker, yes, I want to say that uh, in the year 2021, the company had serious governance issues and we were summoned at the Senate. We have been summoned twice. And I want to say that through the support of this Senate and the recommendations that he has been able to do, that the company took that seriously, the shareholders took that seriously, and put in place the proper governance structures of the company. And through those proper governance structures, the company has really made tremendous steps towards positive progress, improvement, and uh, corporate image of the company has been able to change. And therefore, this process, one, we wouldn't, the company through the board of directors, and even through the shareholders, number one, matters to do with corruption, the company would not have entertained that. Number two, in terms of skill set, the company was set to get the right skills for the right positions so that we can be able to improve the performance of the company.